obviously after the last couple of games, wasn't how you guys wanted it to end up. You coming off of a bye week. Um, how do you think the defense um, really came, you know, together with a reset after the last four games? Yeah, I mean, you know, I think defensively we've had really good moments in every game. Um, you know, the tough part in this league is putting together 60 minutes of, of good hard offense and defense on both ends. So um, we know what we got on this back end and we got some injuries coming back hopefully. And, um, you know, we just got to sit to the game plan, play together and, uh, you know, just work as hard as we can, play full 60 minutes. Um, how was the bye week utilized by you and also some of your teammates? Yeah, bye week this late in the season is always really nice. Um, you know, you get to kind of let the body heal a little bit and recover. And, um, you know, hopefully we come out of this, you know, ready to go and, um, you know, rejuvenated, reduced, and uh, full energy. And, you know, we're treating these like a playoff game. So, um, you know, coming off the bye, there's a lot of prep to be done. Um, and, you know, we've, we've done that. We, we know what we got to do, and we just got to go out there and do it. Um, what is the key to halting Georgia's offense from a defensive standpoint? Yeah, they obviously really did really potent offense. And, uh, you know, like we said, just sticking to our game plan defensively, um, playing together, communicating, um, and, you know, just giving Ralphie the shots that he wants to see. And, uh, you know, that'll lead to us being successful. Is there anything that you guys have been focusing on specifically to prep for Georgia like this past week? I think for us it's just getting back to how we were at the start of the year, um, how we were defensively. Um, you know, just again, sticking to the game plan. Um, it's, you know, you can only focus so much on what the other team's going to do. And um, if you prepare and you know what you're going to do exactly on the DN, then, uh, you know, that's that's key to success. Obviously, m one of the most notable players on Georgia right now is Lyle Thompson. How are you guys going to be able to shut him down tonight? Yeah, he, he's one of the best players in the world. Um, you know, it's really hard to shut him out. Will we shut him to zero points? You know, that's, that's a really hard, hard task to do. Um, but, you know, we're going to be in his hands. We're going to be forcing him to places that we want to see him. Um, and we're going to, you know, have our help ready and just be playing a tight defense that allows us to, to be in hands and not give up free, free contested shots. And then with just two games left in the season, you got Georgia tonight, Philly next week. Um, how important is it to clinch this week versus the last week of the season and maybe other scenarios that have to happen? Yeah, I think any time you can clinch playoffs, um, you know, obviously it's, it's super important to get earlier than later. Um, you know, we've had a few opportunities, but... Um, you know, we know this is a big one. We know we've been working all, all season for this and, uh, you know, it would mean a lot to clinch it tonight and just not have to worry about it in the last game. But, um, you know, we're taking it game by game. We're focusing this game only and um, we're treating it like a playoff game and we're coming out with it. I guess my question is, Ryland, I've noticed that in the second half of the season, a lot of teams are taking away your transition. How do you guys get that transition going and, and getting goals at key moments of the game? Yeah, transition kind of you kind of just have to let it happen in the game. Um, some games you're going to get more opportunities than others, and it starts with just good defense, and you're getting your opportunities, Ralphie making saves, getting the ball up, um, you know, getting caused turnovers or turnovers. Um, so it starts in the back end, and we just got to come out, play our game, stay tight, and, you know, the transition will come to us. we got a lot of players that are, you know, very, very capable of pushing that ball. So, um, you know, it's a part of our game. We like to try and, you know, bring that to every game, but it um, starts at the back end, and, you know, the transition will come. In the last few games, you guys have, have fallen behind a few goals, two, three, four goals, and you guys have been able to work your way back, tie it up, stay within one, but not get over the top. What kind of adjustments have you guys made to get off to a faster start in the first quarter so you're not playing from behind? Yeah, again, that just comes from the energy. You know, it's sometimes it's harder to start the game. Um, you know, as the emotions get going, um, as the flow of the game starts going, you start to play a little better, a little bit more together. But, um, you know, it starts in the locker room and just mentally preparing, being ready. Um, and, you know, coming out on that first whistle is super, super important. So, um, obviously, a big point of emphasis for us, and, uh, you know, we're, we're looking to do that tonight. You talked about this being, being like a playoff game. How do you make sure that the, the guys as a group continue that intensity but then also don't play tight where they're not, play, they're not playing their all because they're worried about making mistakes? Yeah, I think everyone in the locker room kind of knows what's, what's up for grabs here tonight, and, um, you know, we know we're not in a win or lose situation. It's just... Um, you know, you want to win every game, and we're treating this like a playoff game, and we kind of are treating it like, you know, win or go home. And um, there's a lot of guys that worked really, really, really hard this season to, to be where we are at. And, you know, obviously with the, the hot start to the season and slowing down a little bit, um, you know, we want to get back to those winning ways. And, um, you know, no better time than right before playoffs to kind of find our footing again and, um, you know, hit, hit the floor running. So.